Ancient machines were born to help on our daily tasks, but how much time can they really save you? And is it really worth it to do all that grind just to have some weird looking alien brain doing things for you? And would my belly be destroyed if I use them? Okay, you may not have this last question, but you should, especially if you love decorating your belly. If you also have all these questions, stay tuned to find all the answers here. Quest crafting and decorating require us to gather so many materials. Sometimes it's really hard to keep up and on top of that we need to randomly find some weird looking ancient cores for the ancient machines? Hmm, that sounds like a lot of work if you ask me. So let's start comparing the manual efforts with the automated ones from all three ancient machines. Oh, and I really want to start with the one I absolutely love the most, the ancient cooker. Not that I'm lazy at cooking, but um, the time I take to manually cook 10 pastry cream and fruit meals is about 3 minutes. Especially now that the grapes are in my way and I need to replace them every single time. Why do you replace the grapes, Cupcake? Well, because the same meal with grapes gives you only 958 energy against 2,482 from berries or strawberries. I know, I know, such a scam. Anyway, now with the auto cooker level 1, you can pre-select the ingredients just once and it takes only 35 seconds of your time. Such a lifesaver. But behold, because ancient machines can be leveled up to level 2, aka regular level, and level 3, aka advanced level. And with each level, they get even better. So go to your nearest time bending table to level them up. Because with level 2, you get 20 meals with about 35 seconds of your time. And with level 3, you get 30 meals in the same time. This makes the outer cooker worth the grind. Next up is of course the Auto Gardener, with the potential for research and money making. Doing gardening manually for 15 crop spaces could take about 1 minute if you water them on time. Now for the Auto Gardener level 1, it takes only 15 seconds. And if that's not good enough, level 2 takes about the same time for 24 crop spaces and level 3 the same time for 35 crop spaces. Wait up, because there's a very big but here. Uh, as in B-U-T, <laughs> the Auto Gardener is not your friend. What I mean is that it cannot give you those sweet extra crops that your gardener companion can. So for 15 crop spaces, I'm getting 82 pumpkins manually with my companion, but the auto gardener only gives you 15. For the 24 crop spaces for level 2, I'm getting 160 pumpkins with my companion and 190 pumpkins for 35 crop spaces of level 3. And this makes the auto gardener not worth the grind. Unless you don't mind earning the minimum amount of money for almost zero effort. Definitely something to think about. Next, we need to talk about Bruno. I mean, Bruno the ancient vacuum. It can auto gather almost everything around you. If you gather all splinters of fate manually, just in Ancient's Landing, it takes around 1 minute and 30 seconds. The Ancient Vacuum Level 1 only takes 6 seconds. But the Vacuum Level 2 also gathers wild crops and flowers. And all this takes only 10 seconds. But watch out for the dangerous Level 3. Especially if you like decorating your belly. Because Level 3 can also grab activity items 
aka dropped items like food, crops, and even flowers. So it could destroy your carefully placed decorations if you don't pick the items carefully. By the way, this is how I decorated Rapunzel's tower. I'll leave a link in the description below in case you're interested. Give a like if you're liking this video and subscribe only if you want more, of course. Back to the topic, if we ignore the destroying your builds issue, manually it takes about 3 minutes and 30 seconds to gather everything just in Ancient's Landing. The Vacuum Level 3 takes only 12 seconds to gather all the stuff around you. This makes the Ancient Vacuum worth the grind. Only if you are careful, of course. So, how much can we actually save with all level 3 automations. Doing everything manually for cooking, harvesting, and gathering takes around 12 minutes per round. And with the ancient cooker, ancient gardener, and the ancient vacuum, it takes only one minute, saving you about 11 minutes of playtime per round. If you find any other time-saving activities or extra information about this, let us know in the comments so we can all save time together. Thank you for watching and have a very sweet day.